a majestic continent filled with unspoilt beauty and mystical science. A prehistoric continent thought to be the cradle of mankind. Welcome to TNT. This week, good friend of the show, Richard Howell, fulfills a lifelong dream in Africa as he harvests a lion. This is TNT. My friend Richard and I met up at the Dallas Safari Club show, and he told me his lifelong dream was to hunt a lion. So I knew exactly the place to send him, and I took him over to Cristo at Mabula Pro Safaris. Cristo has a five-star operation and camps all across of Africa. So after we met with Christo, we made our plans and we would be heading to Africa in June. Well, the first morning of camp, as always, when you go on a flight, especially a long flight like that, is to check the gun and make sure everything is sighted in. And especially since we were gonna be hunting dangerous game, accuracy was gonna be of the utmost importance. Well, after getting the gun sighted in, we had a great day of hunting ahead of us, and Richard also wanted to hunt a Nyala on this trip, so we thought the first thing we should do is see if we could get Richard on a Nyala. Well, the end of the day wrapped up, and unfortunately, we were not able to find a Nyala for Richard to shoot, but we knew we had a lot of days left, and there are some great Nyala on Mabula Pro Safari. <laughs> PH had talked about an area where he knew that the Nyala stayed. So we thought we'd go check this area and we were going to drive around for a bit and then kind of do some stalking once we got the wind right and hopefully spot a big Nyala for Richard. Well, Richard and his PH snuck up to a water hole, and unfortunately, there was Nyat Nyala at the water, but they did see two Nyala bulls leaving the water. So they decided to put a plan on so they could stalk on these Nyala and hopefully get a shot. Guy and Richard got the wind just right and they were able to sneak up on Yala as they came around a corner, there stood the bull facing them. Matter of fact, there was two bulls. Richard took the biggest bull of the two and made a perfect shot.
Great shot. Great shot. He's down. Great shot, sir. Great shot. We weren't sure why, but for whatever reason, the other bull stood there a little bit before it ran off. But eventually, when that bull took off, Richard was able to go put his hands on his trophy Nyala bull. Hey guys, we're back in Limpopo province with Mabula Pro Safaris, and uh, we just shot this amazing Nyala with Mr. Richard. How are you? We uh, saw two bulls um, driving up to a waterhole. We saw two bulls running away from the waterhole, and uh, we got a little bit of a glimpse of it. And we saw that one of the bulls looked like a potential shooter. So we, we went on the tracks for a while. And, and uh, um, well, we found these two bulls standing underneath a brush. And we got a good stalk on him. And Mr. Rich it, it shot a perfect shot. And here he is now. Congratulations, sir. Well, for Richard's line hunt, we were going to be heading to one of Christo's different camps. And this camp is located in the Kalahari. And uh, we were very lucky. Christo had made arrangements for us to travel in style, so we loaded up in the King Air private jet and flew to the Kalahari. Yeah. Well, we've just arrived in the Kalari Desert with Mabula Pro Safaris. This is one of Christo's mini camps, and uh, we're going to be hunting this week. This is a totally different terrain than uh, the last camp that we went to with Christo. So I'm excited about what the next week holds. So we flew in on a nice private plane here, excellent flight. And now it's time to unload some bags and get to the camp. Let's go. Well, once we arrived in the Kalahari, uh, there was only a few hours of daylight left. And anytime you do a line hunt, you want to start fresh on a full day so you can get early morning tracks. So we decided just to drive around and get a lay of the land that evening before we sat down for a nice dinner. Typically lines like to move at night, so the strategy was to start early morning and check roads for fresh tracks and water holes for fresh tracks. Because we are in the Kalahari, it is a very sandy environment and it's pretty easy to pick up tracks on the roads and around water holes early in the morning. Today will be a rite of passage. I either come back alive or I come back not at all. With a lion or I don't come back. What man could ask for more? We are on the Kalari at Mankwe, uh, trying to find Richard's line this morning. At all the water holes, we will stop and just go around and have a look and see if we can p pick up some fresh tracks of last night. So it uh, looks like there's nothing, yeah? So we'll move on and hopefully we'll find him his mail he's looking for. days driving and looking at various tracks but the great thing about Christo and his trackers is they can immediately tell a mature male lion from a adolescent male or even a female so after days of driving things were looking up because we had finally cut a mature male track okay Richard we found the fresh tracks of the line it's going this way so we're going to get off here and try and follow by foot so good luck and uh, shoot straight Thank you,
we had probably been tracking this line three to four miles. It had been a lot of walking and a long day, and it was getting pretty late in the day. And at that point, we were pretty concerned that the night was going to come too quick and we weren't going to be able to get on this line before nightfall. But just as we thought that was the case, we heard a lion growl. This lion knew that we had pushed him a few times, and I guess he had decided it was time to make his stand. So once we heard the growl, they immediately threw down the sticks and Richard got his gun up. We were now at the point where it was the standoff. Take your time. Down. In the dark. In the go, bush. Go. bush. Dark. Take Good, shot. Shot. Good shot. Good shot. That's our shot. Yeah. That's the shot we need. <sighs> you know, when you hear a lion growl in the open Kalahari, talk about adrenaline pumping, emotions, all kind of things going through your head. And I've been lucky to do a few lion hunts, so I know the feeling that Richard was going through because this was his first lion hunt. And under the test of all those challenges, Richard stood up well and made a great shot. Well, Richard, we start early this morning. We found the tracks of your lion. Eventually, we, we found the male, and uh, he was not in a very good mood. <laughs> <laughs> so we pushed him a little bit. He turned on us, and uh, you made an excellent shot. The first shot of yours was great. And then the second one, you shot it right in the, in the neck there. It was excellent. That double of yours on that distance, you made an excellent shot on it. Thank you very much. That's a very nice line. I think you can be proud of this one in your trophy room. Thank you for hunting with Mabula Pro Safaris. Well, thanks to you and thanks to all the staff and uh, everyone with Mabula. Uh, thanks a lot, Richard. Congratulations. Well, congratulations to Richard. That was one heck of a lion and a beautiful Nyala. If you'd like to find out more information about Mabula Pro Safaris or any of the outfitters or sponsors seen on our program, be sure and check out our website at tntoutdoorexplosion.com or check out our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash tntoutdoorexplosion. Hey, thanks for watching this week, and until next week, remember, do what you love and share it with your family. Thank <laughs> you.